Hey fit and healthy friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching. I'm a registered dietitian, certified holistic nutritionist and personal trainer. And protein powders is something that I talk quite a bit about with my clients and that clients ask about. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite protein powders that you can use for improving your health, losing or maintaining weight and building muscle. These protein powders that I like and am sharing are based largely on taste, quality, affordability, and accessibility. So these are the types of proteins that most people can go out and find at a local store or on Amazon that taste good, but that still have a good quality for your health. As you may or may not know, I did a video previously on the best protein powders for weight loss, but this video is kind of an update to that because I actually don't use several of those protein powders anymore or recommend them because of the ingredients that they are made with. So in this video, I will give you my current favorites. The first one is Orgain Protein, and this is a protein that I did mention in my previous video, and this is the only one that I still use, that I still like, and that I still recommend to others. The reason that I like this protein is one, it's a vegan protein. It also tastes really good. This is one of my very favorite protein powders in terms of taste. A lot of protein powders just have kind of weird aftertaste or a funny taste to them, but this one I think tastes great, and most people that I know who have tried it would agree with me. It has 21 grams of protein per serving and 20 grams of carbohydrate per serving. So it's very balanced. It's almost could be like a snack or small meal replacement. This also makes it great for post-workout because you're getting both carbohydrates and protein to help restore glycogen in your muscles and rebuild muscles after you've broken them down. This also includes a superfoods blend. So you've got a lot of fruits and vegetables and that types of things that are added to this. And it's really affordable. So you can find this at a lot of local health food stores, Amazon or at Costco. So depending on where you get it, you'll typically find this for somewhere around 25 to 30, maybe $35. Another brand that I really like is the Naked brand. So you might find Naked Pea or Naked Whey. You can find these on Amazon. You can find it on their website and they come in a variety of sizes. So what I like about these is they're very clean and simple. They're called naked because they don't add in a bunch of fillers or sweeteners or other random ingredients that so many protein powders do. So it's generally gonna be a little bit better on your gut, better for your health. And these are also tested for heavy metals. They're tested for gluten, so you can ensure that these are safer. So we at home use the naked pea protein because we do more vegan proteins. I can't handle whey as many people cannot because it is dairy. So anyone with a dairy intolerance tends to have problems with whey protein as well. And that's a lot of people. So pea protein is generally much easier to handle. And the two are actually very similar as far as research shows in terms of muscle building. So whether you take whey or pea, even though whey is actually more biologically available, it's easier for your body to absorb and you're gonna absorb more of it. Long term, I haven't seen any research really that shows massive differences between the two. So both can be really beneficial. So if you can't do whey, pea is a great second option. And this brand, brand, depending on where you buy it and the size that you get, will range anywhere from about $25 for a container up to almost $100 for the really big container. And then I will also put links for it and all of the other products to Amazon in the description below if you want to use those to click directly to any of these products. This next one is a little bit newer to me. This is called Earth Champ, and they actually recently sent this to me to try. This I actually really like it is organic it's vegan and it's more earth friendly in terms of the packaging so you notice this is just basically a paper bag so it's not in one of these big plastic containers and then they also don't put a scoop in here so you can just use whatever you have at home or you can order a scoop but they don't automatically put it in here in order to limit the product and the plastic that's being used to produce this which is really nice it's non-gmo there's no soy, no dairy, no gluten, no added sugars, no gums. When you look at the ingredient list, you can pretty much understand everything that's on here. It even includes digestive enzymes. And one thing I like about this is it has a more interesting blend of powders for protein. So a lot of vegan protein powders generally are either pea protein or maybe a blend of pea protein and brown rice protein. This one 
has pea, pumpkin, sunflower, and coconut, and they're all organic. So it's a little bit more interesting mix of protein powders. And this one has 20 grams of protein per serving and 10 grams of carbohydrates. So this can still be good post-workout because you're getting a good blend of each or for more of like a small meal replacement or snack throughout the day. I also really like the taste of this one. So in comparison, Orgain is very sweet. The naked proteins are really not very sweet at all. This one is somewhere in the middle where it has a good amount of sweetness, but it's not so overpowering. The last type of protein powder is collagen protein powders. Collagen protein is really good for hair, skin, nails. It's also really good for the gut. So it's a great way to support your gut, support muscle building. So there's a lot of these out there. I generally tend to use either vital proteins or organ. The main reason being these are found at Costco or you can find them on Amazon. So a lot of people use these just because they're very easily accessible. They're affordable. They're going to be around $25 to $30 um, and they work well. What I like about this is that it's non-GMO, it's pasture raised or it's coming from pasture raised cows. Um, there's no added flavors in this. So it's unflavored. So you're not getting into that artificial stuff. Or another brand that I like is Ancient Nutrition and they combine bone broth with collagen. And both of those are really good for gut health. And it's just a really high quality brand. So that's another one you can find on Amazon, on their website, or I've even seen it at like the local um, grocery outlet. So once in a while you might find it, find any of these at some sort of discount store as well. And one thing that I like to do when I'm making protein shakes, which I pretty much have every morning, is I'll do one scoop of something like Earth Chimp or Orgain, and then I'll do one scoop of collagen. That way I'm getting a good mix of everything. I get a little bit of all these different proteins to benefit my body. So you could do that, or you can add collagen. A lot of these mix well into things like coffee or other beverages or into baking. So when you use the unflavored type, you can put it into a lot of different drinks or foods as another way to get it if you don't wanna do multiple protein shakes. And there are many, many collagen protein powders out there. Some are better absorbed than others. Um, I also use one from doTERRA that's not really a protein powder. It just has collagen in it. It's called MetaPower Advantage. It's very bioavailable, very easily absorbed by the body. So you only need, only need a little bit as opposed to something like this where you need a full scoop. And there are some other great brands out there that makes excellent collagen, but typically... For a lot of people, these are out of their budget. A lot of great collagens are in the $80 range, and typically they are going to be better quality. They'll probably work a little bit better, but I know for some people it's just not doable. So that's why even though this may not be the top of the line collagen, something like this at least is still giving you some of that, and it's much more affordable for some people. So those are some of my current favorites, but I'm curious, what are some of yours? Pop down in the comments below what is one of your favorite clean, healthy protein powders? There are so many out there and I definitely haven't tried them all. And I know a lot of you have great recommendations. So if there's something you love, put it in the comments so that other viewers can learn and I can learn and maybe try some of those out as well. If you would like a protein smoothie idea that has lots of health benefits to it on my website, and I will put the description down below, I have a blog with a protein a smoothie recipe that's really great like a greens fruit vegetable all the healthy things in there so you can get that at my website i also have multiple meal plans available that all have protein smoothies in there for different maybe breakfast or lunch options a lot of different variety so you can get one of those on my website those also provide you with breakfast lunch dinner snacks for whatever your goal may be. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you just want to eat healthier, if you're trying to find food for gut health, if you want to go more vegetarian, I pretty much have a plan that will help you do any of those things, even including building muscle. So if you need a little bit more step-by-step -step guidance, recipes, options for a healthy diet and making meal planning so much easier, so much faster, you can get one of those as a really affordable price on my website. And if you need more individualized one-on-one -on -one help trying to figure out how to use things like protein powders or just how to get to your goal, whatever your health or fitness goal may be, you can contact me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. I would be happy to give you a free 20-minute consult to learn more about your goals 
and how we could work together to get you there faster and easier. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And until the next one, blessings on your health and fitness journey.